Hey gang, how we doing? Sweaty Sean with Good Dog, New Orleans, August 2016. Sounds like Star Trek. Captain's Log. Uh, that's for all you older folks that actually remember that. Um, just outed myself. Anyways, real quick, just want to chat with you guys about something. <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of stuff like. There's a lot of like messages out there built to scare the crap out of people. A lot of messages, a lot of fear mongering, a lot of propaganda, whatever you want to call it, right? About ruining dogs. And um, I think a lot of owners, got some kids over here, a lot of owners get caught up, excuse me, wipe my nose, get caught up <clears throat> in feeling like if they try something, if they do something, if they work with a new tool, if they work with a new approach, something like that, that they're going to or possibly will ruin their dog um, or dogs. And I think a lot of trainers, especially like, let's say, I'm gonna call out the old school guys, not all of them, because there's some awesomely open-minded and uh, generous old school guys as well. But there's, there's definitely like a propensity with some of the old school stuff to, uh, old school folks, to, scare people and I don't know if it's a tactic to try and get people to only work with trainers not do any work on their own blah 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 but there's a lot of this about ruining dogs you do this you'll ruin the dog as if there's this like precipice you do something and forever the dog is changed forever the dog is ruined um, whatever you've done you can't undo it can't go back it's just is and it's permanent right there's that sense of permanence wrapped up in that statement you know that you ruin a dog ruin means at least to me the way it feels is something permanent that can't be fixed or undone and I really want to kind of call that out so walk over a nice shady spot here and this is this goes for owners and trainers who are like and you know working on stuff and trying to resolve issues like, all we do or get dogs in that have been like not handled correctly lifestyle wise, relationship wise, tool wise, um, approach, even maybe training method, mechanics wise, um, whether it's been owners or trainers or who, or whoever. Sorry, doors opening over here. This scared me and Sophie a little bit. We're back. Um, we're stable, we're okay. Um, so for, for owners, for trainers, anybody out there who's dealing, dealing with this concept or thinking about this concept and it's inhibiting your ability to try something different, take a chance, um, experiment. I don't mean like mad scientist experiments, of course, but I mean like experiment with maybe different tools or a different approach or trying something you haven't tried before, uh, you know, whatever it might be. Like I said, all we do are get dogs in every single day that have had stuff not done in the most optimum of fashion. And you know what? I hope this wind isn't really blowing for you guys. You can hear me. Um, but you know what? Thank God for this wind, by the way. Um, otherwise it could be a scorcher. Um, all we do, sorry, I'm bringing the camera close just to kind of keep the wind out. All we do is turn these dogs around and sort them out and unruin them. Now, does it mean they're perfect? Does it mean there are so many reasons why dogs can have problems, right? Genetic issues, early socialization or lack thereof trainer um, owner relationship all that kind of stuff <clears throat> I just go around these guys so they don't have to deal with my yik yak but anyways the main the main thrust of this the main thing I want to get across to everybody is that all we do are get dogs that are s supposedly ruined and then we fix them and you know I hate that term fix so like I'm not really saying we fix them as in dogs are renewed or 100% wherever back to original state or whatever whatever that might have even been but we sort them out we get them balanced out as much as they possibly can be with what they naturally come with and we get them back on the road and we get them doing their thing right and so I can't tell you how many dogs have come in with like 
poor training due to, you know, whatever methodology or really, really bad relationship stuff that's just a mess. And the dogs are always able to make changes. How much of the change, how, how much of a transformation, how much do they turn around? Of course, so much of that is dependent dependent upon a lot of different factors, not just what was done to the dog, but what the dog comes with. So I think it's really, really important for owners and trainers to wrap their head around this idea of like t taking more chances, experimenting within reason, you know, reasonable, insightful, thought, thought through experimentation, that kind of stuff. Um, and being aware that if they make a mistake or if they have made a mistake or if they're sitting on the other end of a lot of mistakes like I spoiled the bejesus out of my dog and now he's aggressive towards me or other people or you know I've spoiled the crap out of my dog and now he's got separation anxiety or I've whatever it might be or I you know used a prong collar and I let him pull on it so now he doesn't care about the prong collar anymore and he just you know just pulls on it or I use the e-collar I introduced it incorrectly and now he's like worried about it or he doesn't you know doesn't understand what it means whatever it might be you can always go back you can always go back and do a do-over right you can always go back you can always work on sorting that stuff out that's been done wrong whether it's relationship or actual methodology or tools or whatever. My point is we get them all day long, these dogs, and they're able to make amazing, incredible changes. Dogs that were improperly e-collar trained are now well-trained and responding well on e-collar. Dogs that were terrible on a prong collar are now, now amazing on a prong collar. And dogs that have separation anxiety are no longer having separation anxiety and dogs that were being aggressive and bratty and nasty and territorial, whatever, are not doing that stuff anymore, right? So, and if they can do it with us, that means they can do it with their owner or anybody else that's working with them. It might take more time if you're the owner, if you're the person who's created that stuff, those relationship issues and associations and perceptions, it's gonna take you longer than it's gonna take us. There's no getting around that because you've laid a groundwork for all these memories and associations that your dog is going and you are gonna to have to work through to get to the other side. That said, even with that being the case, you can sort it out and you can fix it. I've seen, I've just seen too many owners with really messed up relationships or really improperly trained dogs or whatever it might be, turn it around and have fantastic situations. So it's absolutely out there for you. Um, I, I want this to be a bit of a bit of an encouraging message for people to, like I said, be less afraid, buy in less to these fear messages that if you do one thing wrong, you're going to mess up a dog for life. Um, so people are afraid to, you know, correct their dog or try new tools or do this stuff. And if your relationships, you know, a wreck, that you can't fix it, that it's, it's just something you have to deal with, that it's going to be like that forever. The truth of the matter is, if you're willing to do the work, like anything else in life, you're willing to do the work, willing to really buckle down, really work hard, put the time in, put the money in, whatever you have to do, you're gonna be able to turn this stuff around to a tremendous degree. And so, I just wanted to share that, get that message out. I, don't, I really love people to stop being so worried about this whole ruining thing, as if, it's a state of permanence as if it's one step away you make one mistake and it's a ruining mistake or you've done something for you know con con continuously and it's a ruining mistake right both are false both can be turned around and changed and transformed and improved upon so let's get rid of this ruining concept and let's just start wherever we're at sorry about the wind guys let's just start wherever we're at we're at and sort it out address it you got dog issues cool plenty of information out there plenty of resources plenty of help with knowledgeable trainers or videos or other resources you can start getting to work on that stuff and start turning it around so let's not uh, lean on the ruin thing and let's not be afraid to try things because we're going to ruin things right
hope that uh, hope that makes some sense. Hope that helps anybody. Uh, like I said, both owners and trainers, because I think I talk with a lot of trainers when I'm working with them and teaching them, and training them to take more chances and take more risks and try things and get feedback from the dog of whether it works. Too many people are frozen, owners included, are frozen not taking chances, working through issues or trying different things, and so the dog just stays stuck. But you try something, you go, ah, that worked, or mom, that didn't work, that didn't give me the result I'm looking for, let me try something different, right? Like anything else in life, you just keep trying and trying until you find your answers. And so I'd love dog training to have a little bit more of this thought process or this belief of we can experiment and try and explore and find our answers um, rather than being uh, scared into being motionless or scared into not trying anything or you know not not exploring no you know what I mean just being stuck so let's uh, let's push through that that fear and let's get a little bit more exploratory, a little more open-minded, a little more intuitive, and uh, see what you get. All right, guys, hope that helps. Any questions, hit me up. And like I said, I'm not talking about Frankensteinian, Steinian, Steinian experimentation. I'm not talking about ridiculous things. I'm talking about experimentation through smart choices and an iterative, pro iterative process of checking things out and seeing what works and what doesn't. Hope that helps. See you guys.